We have a C8 Corvette. The client just came in with the, this vehicle, paid a little over $100,000 for it. Um, absolutely gorgeous piece of machine. Unfortunately, um, he stepped over a dollar to save a penny and cost himself in the long run. So we're just going to document a couple of things that we see. Um, it would take us probably about three hours to actually document how many things are wrong with this vehicle. Um, we just are just going to go do a quick brisk, uh, brisk uh, overview on that. Sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, brisk <laughs> overview on that and then uh, kind of point this out and then you guys are going to get an opportunity to see how we go through the process, correct the process, uh, reestablish faith in our client base and then of course deliver on a product. So uh, real briefly we'll go through and I'll just point out a couple of things so starting on the front bumper you notice there's a lot of actual pillback there's patches right in this area uh, I don't know what that is we're gonna have to see if that's actually damaged underneath but it looks like a patched area see that yeah it is it's a patched area oh, man. okay then we have of course right underneath here again patch not fed in correctly oh, yeah. overlapped on the bottom we have another patch right up underneath here okay it gets worse oh, and worse man. and worse right over here on the hood portion you see that pinstripe that's actually running around the entire hood? Mm -hmm. That's because they just flush cut it and they didn't finish it. And then of course the pinstripe itself is actually lifting as well. I mean, it gets worse and worse and worse, wow. okay? So we'll come around to the mirrors. The mirrors are actually, from a distance looked pretty good until you start seeing patches everywhere, oh, patches okay. right here, lifting areas. So this basically means that it was overstretched and not heated correctly. Uh, this portion, same exact thing, not flushed. You can see a pinstripe patch right here inside that portion. Again, the door not trimmed correctly. You get down to the bottom skirt, there's more patching going on here. Again, very, very bad patching. Wow. Now guys, in wrap, there is actually a point where you know, pinstriping is necessary, right? But we're talking about this person pinstripe to cover up a lot of issues and blemishes and things like that. Let me open the door. The door again, as you can see, patchwork everywhere. They actually went over bolts, didn't cut around it. This is actually what was considered satisfactory from that shop. We're not gonna say who it was. We try and stay as professional as possible. We just wanna document this on our own. But see this right here, guys? There's a beautiful flush line right here that you can actually trim, okay? So this right here, we have to reestablish faith in this client that there is good businesses in this, in this uh, regard, in this industry. A lot of times, you have to be very careful who you're taking your vehicles to. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors in this industry. It takes thousands on top of thousands of hours to perfect what we do. We hire ASC certified technicians that can break vehicles down, Ferraris, high-end multi-million dollar vehicles, all the way down to your Toyota Priuses, right? And we deliver the same quality. It's really, it's really disgruntling and uh, it's disrespectful to take somebody's money like this and deliver on a product like this and to say that you're a professional shop. There's smoke and mirrors, guys. Do research on who you're doing your, your business with. You know, go inside their facility, look around at the vehicles, make sure that, you know, they have vehicles there on display that are currently being worked on. You know, not ones that aren't there, or, you know, this or that. I mean, guys, we have, you know, across different platforms, over 300 five-star reviews, and those are, could be a lot more, but we don't ask clients for reviews, you know? We don't seek out clients for reviews. Um, but you know, there's no smoke and mirrors here. And, and in this industry, it's also another thing that the proof is in the pudding. You can't really fake it until you make it. I mean, this is what happens. And then, you know, these people unfortunately are left holding the bag metaphorically because they can't actually go out and seek reimbursement from these people because these aren't companies. These are friends that are doing it out of their garages at home with no overhead, no insurance, no anything like that, no garage keepers insurance, you know, popping up at car meets because they put a decal on that they bought on Amazon and now they're a company. Um, you know, you have to watch out for that. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors in this guys. I mean, take a look at this again. You know, patchwork everywhere, wow. all the way up. This this actual uh, portion was cut on the vehicle. You can see there's patchwork all in here. This is lifting. Okay, look wow. at. Oh man. I mean, look at that, guys. Just not done at all. You can tell that they actually didn't even they didn't even remove anything. Look at how big that gap is there. Look at yep. that. It's pulling back. Okay. Wow. This right here, you can take a look in these areas again. Patchwork, patchwork, patchwork cut on the vehicle this actual spoiler portion has about four different uh layers to it okay same exact thing that you'll see here wow, 
patches everywhere. Yeah, this is actually cut on the actual carbon flash. You can see I'm pulling some off. Okay, that's because they didn't do any disassembly, right? Same exact thing here. Patches all in these areas. Patches right here. Again, we're not going to point out who this is, but in San Antonio, it's a very small world in the automotive customization. Not only that, but when you get into actual film installation, it gets even smaller. And then when you start seeing vehicles like this that are actually advertised on Instagram, you know, and things like that, and then they come here and we see them behind the scenes, it's about time that we start making this a little bit public um, because we want to protect our clients and our future prospective clients from things like this. Things, you know, to look for, things to be aware of. And we're not saying, you know, obviously we're going to earn everybody's business, but we want there to be at least a little bit of forethought into this. And of course, you know, um, this is the reason why we do surveys on vehicles. We have to take a look at them. So take a look at the yeah, the carbon uh, here as well. I mean, that's that was left like that. So this gentleman actually couldn't even see out of his reverse camera. So yeah, I mean, this one again in the door portion here, um, you can see the same exact patches all the way uh, down here as well. You can see that they overlapped and cut into the paint. You can see here, of course, there's patches everywhere. This again is satisfactory for some, some companies and people. But again, you have to be very careful about who you're doing business with, you know? Crazy. Uh, we've been at this now company has been in existence now for seven years been customizing cars for over half of my life and there's just a certain level of attention to detail that you need to bring uh, to to give a quality to these clients that they expect I mean a lot of clients again bring their vehicles to us for peace of mind because they know that they're gonna get their vehicles back better than they got them before and here we go again look I mean even the smallest thing another pinstripe there look at that guys see if they would have just removed that the right way you know we would have been good here's another patch right here cuts in there look at this mirror oh, now man. the thing about mirrors like this is once this happens on a wrap you can hear it going shh and whistling the entire time that you're driving wow i mean so this guy was complaining of whistling sounds he was complaining that you know there's water getting in everything so on and so forth uh, the wrap looks terrible, you know, there's all these portions that are damaged on it, uh, you know, this portion, I mean, look at this right here, even that, you know, you have patches in here, you have glue line areas, you have overstretching. It's the entire car. These are all the things that we are going to teach not to do in our wrap academy that's coming up. Guys, just so you're aware, we are going to be launching a wrap academy. It is for students. You will have to enroll just like a university, but we are going to be bringing a certain level of education and a certain level of teaching in person that can fast track you into not making these mistakes. And of course, gain, gaining a client base, but starting a little business at the same time. Okay, so stay tuned. And again, hit the follow and like and subscribe buttons okay all right guys and let's fast forward to the finished product <music> 